Hello, everyone, people of the interwebs. Um, clearly I do not vlog a lot, so I'm really sorry about how shaky this video is. Um, I'd like to quickly just go over a few things. If you noticed before clicking on this video, it is titled, We Need to Have a Talk. But don't worry, it's a walk and talk, not a sit down and talk. And I'm really sorry for all the cars that are going to pass me, because I'm currently walking down a road. And people are going to be looking at me weirdly. But I couldn't just sit down in my house and do this. I had to get out, feel the fresh air, change some stuff. Um, as most of you notice, my hair is now pink and not blue, like in the last video I shot, which is one of two. Well, I only one of four, but three of them are like a series of vlogs that I've shot in the last like, four months. And that's kind of basically the purpose of this video. I'm going to be really pissed if my camera's not picking up my voice. Um, so as most of you know, in June, I graduated from beauty school. And I got really excited because I was going to have more free time to make videos when I wasn't working. Because I would no longer be going to school five days a week and working the two days I wasn't going to school. Nor did I have any kind of, like, drama improv anything going on. Here comes another car. Hold on. Yep, definitely got a weird look. Um, and then, as most of you know, the weekend after I graduated, we went on a four, three day, four day, three day, we only were there for three days, trip down to Massachusetts, um, for a family reunion slash my Nana's funeral, which ended up not turning out super well, um, I don't know, I just came back from the trip and I wasn't really feeling as happy as I had been or as excited about the future. I'm really sorry, I'm really out of shape, so I'm losing my breath pretty fast. Um, but yeah, so I came back from the trip not really in the right emotional state and just kind of took the vi all the video I'd taken from down in Mass and started editing it, which took friggin' forever, because I had like hours of footage from each day, like nine hours. And I tried cutting them down to like five, anywhere between five and eight minute videos. Um, so, I mean, it worked out the way it did. Um, and then, there's another car. Oh, it's a Paul Mitchell car. That's weird. Anyways, um... And... Frickin' hey, There's another car! Really, I don't know how people vlog when walk at the same time. Yep. Um... And then we came back from the trip. Um, and... My cat, very shortly after, got very sick and passed away as... Some of you might have seen via Instagram slash Facebook slash Twitter slash my lack of video because I was upset. And so Ari having not been in a really good emotional state, that kind of just threw me off a little bit more. And right, literally, like right after, like the next week I had state boards for cosmetology. And I did not study. I repeat, I did not study. For anyone who knows me, I did not study until the day before boards. I didn't pack my shit till the day before boards. And then I studied. Here comes another car. Just keep yep. So, for anyone who knows me, I started studying 
as soon as possible for most things. I spent like a month, month and a half studying for my, my beauty school final, but I studied for like two days for my boards, which by some friggin' miracle I passed, even though I didn't study, and I took my written test in 20 minutes, like I just took it, and I like, didn't even check anything, and was like, that's good. And um, also shortly after we got back from Massachusetts, my sternum inflamed again for the second time, and I went back on um, some anti-inflammatory steroids, which I don't know if you've ever cut hair with an inflamed sternum. I don't know if any of you have ever had an inflamed sternum, but you can't exactly hold your arms up for a long period of time on the side that's inflamed. So it's my left side, so it was the hand that I um, hold the hair with, and you have to hold it up with a certain amount of tension. So halfway through my haircut, during boards, for my license, I almost passed out. And I very quickly had to put away my sharp tools for my own safety. Yep. Hello to you nice old people in the car. Um, so, that was a mess. I somehow passed it with like a 97, the practical, and a 95, the written. And then I kind of was feeling a little bit better because, I mean, you always feel better when you pass a really big test, especially, you know, one that decides whether or not you're going to continue on with your career and you didn't just spend a shit ton of money on a shit ton of school and been a bunch of other shit to mind to take your test for nothing. And so I got my license. I sent out my application for it. And I came back to work. Um, and our manager was out. And she was out for the rest of the month of July. Which was really shitty because no one could train me. And, um, no one could train me, no one can answer any questions about training, did I turn this off? No, okay. No one could answer any questions about training me, nothing. There was, no one knew anything. She came back in the beginning of August. I asked about training, clearly. I had had my license for a month, wanted to start cutting hair, it had been two months. Um, and she told me maybe September, and then a week later, she ended up stepping down from management. And then uh, we got a new manager, and I still haven't been trained. So, basically, to give a short summary of, um, all of what I just filled you in on, I've been, as some of you may know, I've struggled in the past with a lot of depression, and with that comes a lot of anxiety, social and otherwise. Um, so needless to say, for the past few months, I haven't been uploading because I've been really just struggling emotionally with my depression, and I, it, it just, it was too many things at once, snowballing out of control, and I just, I don't know, it was kind of just a struggle to get out of bed every day, and an even bigger struggle to convince myself to go to work when I uh, wasn't doing a job, well, not doing, because I mean I still work there, not doing a job that I love, because I'm just, I'm still a receptionist, and I don't get to do hair, and um, yeah, so that was that. I finally have kicked myself in the butt um, and convinced myself that even if 
I'm not doing a job I love, I could still make videos and do something else I loved. So, um, here is this video, which is, one, an explanation for my absence, and two, a really big apology for my absence, and three, a welcome myself back to the interwebs video. So yeah, there was our that was our walk and talk. Um, I want to do a fall lookbook in the f next few weeks because all of the leaves are turning and it's really nice out. Sometimes it's been pretty rainy lately, so I'm hoping on one of my days off next week, which is a majority of the days off, which is which is the majority of the days in a week. Jesus fucking Christ, another car. Um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get outside and take some pictures for a fall lookbook. And my new editing software finally downloaded. And I just have to buy a wireless mouse for my laptop. That is all I need. Which I'm going to do tonight. So... Once I get that, it's uphill from here. Um, I'm also, as a lot of you know, I have spent the last, how many freaking years have I had channel? Five? Five or six. It's been like five or six years um, since I started my channel. I've spent those years kind of exploring different topics to see which one I really, you know, connected with and which one really connected with you guys, um, it's, so my channel is mainly going to be vlogs and fashion, so just some things for you to look forward to. We have the fall lookbook, we have vlogs giving, which is like vlogsmas, but it's for Thanksgiving, and each day I'm going to vlog about things I'm thankful for, and there's another fucking car coming! vlogs giving. I'm gonna be doing some vlogs miss because Christmas is literally my favorite season of the year because of decorating and Christmas music and movies and then family time. That's like, that's basically why I like it. Um, also, I will start doing monthly favorites and start talking about different beauty products and my experiences with them. So, for example, right now my hair is pink and we used Inkworks and at the end of the month I will be giving a review for it based on how it worked in my hair, which might not be how it works in your hair, but if you have a lot of really fine hair, it's probably going to work out the same. There's another car coming. This has been, oh, what the, oh. Alright, I think that's it for cars. So, I don't remember what I was saying. Have a great day. I will see you guys next week on Tuesday. Deuces. I shouldn't say deuces. Bye.